One of the other tricks the left uses in trying to silence people is they have all this vast, this vast cancel culture where really coordinated attacks on people made it's meant to make businesses feel that there is a mob of people standing outside ready to boycott them when in fact it's really like 12 people with 7,000 Twitter names you know it's really not that many people but they have mastered this technique of canceling people and of course the cowardice uh, of business and the cowardice of media outlets where they fire you instantaneously so they've worked this cancel culture up into a science and then they start to say that anything that happens anywhere is cancel culture. So I don't know about you, but I was really happy to see a bunch of hot Swedish blondes beat the uh, U.S. soccer team in the Olympics. I, you know, they humiliated the U.S. soccer team. So you've got these hot Swedish blondes beating these purple-headed lesbian anti-Americans, these women who actually kneel when the, the, they're there to honor America. That is the point of it, right? They're not being paid. They're the, that is the point of an American Olympic team is to honor America, and they kneel during the national anthem. They kneel for the flag instead of standing for the flag. And I thought, good, some hot Swedish blondes kicked them off the field. Terrific. And they said, well, that's cancel culture. The fact that the Olympic ratings are just going to go down the drain, the, the fact that wokeness always leads to brokenness, they think that's cancel culture. No, that's people making a choice about what they want to see and making moral choices about what they want to see. We're not threatening anybody. We probably should boycott more people. We should probably boycott all the people who are telling lies about America, but we, we really don't do it. What they do, though, is Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A wants to open a, a, a restaurant anywhere in the world. They show up because they are angry that Chick-fil-A, the guy who runs Chick-fil-A, wasn't in favor of gay marriage. It's not always cancel culture. The thing is, they define us as hateful. You know that I'm pretty libertarian about sex. Other people's sex lives are not my business. I don't care. But to oppose homosexuality, to say homosexuality is a sin, is not necessarily hateful. There's very uh, well-reasoned philosophy about that. Obviously, you have to be loving to people. You shouldn't be hateful toward people. But to say that it's a sin is not hateful. They just don't want you to have a different opinion. To say that a person who says a man who says he's a woman is not a woman is simple fact. That is a simple fact. I don't know whether necessarily every transgender person is mentally ill, but clearly it is a, it, there is a disparity between the mental perception that person is having and the reality of his physical life, which is what defines your gender. Your gender is a physical fact about you. You know, I loved Islamophobia, as if people woke up one day. I love that phrase, as if people woke up one day and said, Goo, Islam, I don't know why. I suddenly, spiders in Islam, I'm suddenly afraid of them. No reason, no reason. I'm just suddenly afraid, you know, I don't know what it is. I don't know why, you know, it's like they never killed 3,000 people in a single day. Like Islam wasn't an anti, a very, like a branch of Islam was not a flagrantly anti-American, anti-freedom, anti-Christian philosophy that was actually responsible for killing people. This is, you know, this is why I defend a guy like Nick Fuentes when they ban him. I like, I, I disagree with every word out of Nick Fuentes' mouth. I don't like what he's saying. I think he actually is hateful. I think he's anti-Semitic. I think he's anti-black. You know, and people keep saying, "Oh, you're not appreciating his ideas." I've listened to a lot of his ideas, and you're right. They're not even ideas. They're not even ideas. They're just, uh, they're just anger and uh, twistedness and all this stuff. But I defend him because I know once they can cancel him, they can cancel me. They can cancel you. I understand. I'm not afraid of him. I'm happy to have him put on his, you know, say his stupid stuff on the air. He has the right to say it. Let him let him win the argument if he can. I, I believe he can't. I believe as long as we're a free country, people like him will be, you know, pushed to the margins. But they once they censor him, they can censor everybody. Mm -hmm.